is up fam welcome to another adventure my name is omar this is my friend aiden with aiden's escapades as you can see we are wearing matching shirts looking like tourists me especially with this whole sweater thing but anyways we're at one of my favorite places ever in estes park is that how you say it estes park estes Estes. It's where the Estes, Estes, can't even say it right. It's where the Estes method originated. The Stanley Hotel, so much history here. This is one of the most haunted hotels in all of the USA, and we get to stay here tonight. The last time I was here, hey Tiffany, I did not record myself sleeping in the middle of the night. I have an awesome camera with really good low light capability. We're gonna set it up late at night and record us all the way up into the morning to see if we catch anything we've only been in here a short while and so far where are those pictures i have to see them these pictures are amazing so aiden was snapping a couple pictures right now and he caught something right above my head but there's a huge orb well my head was off to the side over here and he said he felt like there was something with eyes looking at him over there pretty interesting tiffany got a couple really interesting orbs too and she did the live photo yeah you there's that one you can see it move too yeah like almost does a, a real quick side to side move there's actually a whole bunch of them now those pictures were taken in the dark with just a mm -hmm. flash this was you guys walking over yeah we were messing with people downstairs with our death whistle and oh you, you see that yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> wow so the maze is down below we're in like if you ever stay at the Stanley Hotel, you want to stay in the main building. That's where we're staying right now. In fact, we're on the floor where Stephen King himself reported children running back and forth, which inspired the movie The Shining. He was staying on the second floor. We're going to go by his room in just a little bit. There's a whole story behind that. Can't wait to share that with you, but I have my death whistle right here. There were people a little bit ago walking through the maze. I'm gonna take you down there. Nobody down there right now, it's past 11. If you wanna see that video, head over to Aiden's channel because he did record. <laughs> it's not the greatest. There's better ones than this, but it's it still sounds, when you blow really hard on it, it sounds like a scream. People were freaking out at the maze down there. It was pretty awesome. We're gonna go down to the maze in a little bit. I zoomed in on the orb. Oh, you zoomed into it? Over your shoulder. Bro, that's crazy. Right before you snapped that picture, I don't know if it was right before or right after, I sneezed and it was a really strange sneeze. Yeah, you said you didn't feel good after that. Yeah, I didn't feel good. It was really weird. And even the sound of my sneeze sounded different. Mm -hmm. It was like, I don't know. You I'm, sneezed and was just like... Yeah, it didn't It didn't sound like my sneeze. Whoa. It's not there, there. It's not there. Oh, but what is that? Yeah, bro, it looks like some sort of shadow or something. Yeah, Tiffany. What? Yeah, look at this. I zoomed in on the other one without the orb. It almost looks like a horned, like, shadow figure. On the curtains. What the? See, look, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. we came in, and as soon as we sat down, I was like, babe, did that just move? Like, I swear on everything, I seen this kind of, like, move out of the corner of my eye. Looked, it was fine, whatever. And then I was like, why is that hanging down? And then he came out of the bathroom and was like, there's eyes over there, bro. There's something over there. <laughs> so then we're like, let's take pictures. <laughs> if you ever come to the Stanley Hotel, especially in the summertime, it is very, very busy. There's tourists in and out of here. People that aren't even staying here, they do tours. They really love and embrace the ghostly activity here, which is awesome, especially here on this building. I'm gonna try to take you to some of the other buildings on the property. There is a stage Hopefully it's open where Houdini himself was going to perform a death defying trick, which he opted out of because of the alt altitude. And there, there's so many cool stories here. He was really good friends with the original owner of the Stanley Hotel, which his wife used to do these seances here. And Mr. Stanley didn't believe in paranormal. He was real skeptic and Houdini himself didn't even believe it. Look what's written on the mirror. Dude, tell me that does not say red, red or something on the mirror. What does that say? Oh, it says red rum. Oh, Did somebody red write that on there? Somebody had to have written that on there. It's hard to see on the camera. So the mirror up top says red rum. Red, red rum, which backwards is spelled murder. You know what I want to see? Hold on, let me test this theory out. So a housekeeper, yeah. It was probably a housekeeper. This is probably as far as she could wipe it, and whoever did it before probably. Well, it looks like a crystal ball up there. I know. What is that? That's some. Whoa. You see that? Yeah. 
You know what's crazy is I was just talking about Miss Stanley. What was her name Flora? Doing seances and stuff here. She used to always do them. Pretty do you sad. know where where she would do them? In the billiards room. In the billiard. We need to go down there. We need to do a seance in the billiards. Hell no, bro. Why are you trying to do seances? I think that's why this place is so haunted to begin with. It's because people don't know what they're doing when they do it. But you yeah. know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Then why don't you do a seance by yourself? Because you're not, it's too dangerous <laughs> to do a seance by yourself. <laughs> if you know what you're doing, though. <laughs> that's why I know what I'm doing. It won't be dangerous. Oh, okay. Good point. Good point. Smart man right here. Why are you laughing, bro? <laughs> if there's a name written on that when we come back, I'm going to the car. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll sleep outside. I'll sleep in here. I'll do that. I'll, do, I'll sleep in here. You can. No, nah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Actually, that'd be really interesting if we did. So Aiden did something interesting. He asked, "What is your name?" And he left a pen here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see when we, uh, when we get to the end of this video, if we, if we find something. This is called the King. The spirit. The spirited king. The spirited king. Really funny story how we got this room in the first place. So they originally gave us room 326. No, 329. 329, sorry. <laughs> so, and it was, it's right when you get off the elevator, beautiful elevator, by the way, and it's the, the actual room right in front of the elevator. We get in there and we're like, it's kind of clean. And then we seen a some, couple garbage bags and there was a $20 bill on the desk which means the room wasn't clean. We go downstairs, that room had been inspected twice today and was clean, confirmed to be clean by the maids. Have no idea, maybe there was a ghost traveler. <laughs> I mean, cause it kind of looked clean. That was really strange. Uh, the people here at the Stanley, amazing, amazing staff. They gave us some information as soon as we got in. They gave us this paper on all these reported hauntings. Pretty awesome stuff. Just recently, somebody, not sure, where on this floor it happened, but their sheets got pulled over their heads. It's called the tuck room. The tuck room. That's mm -hmm. what they consider it. So yeah, that happened. There's a couple other stories that happened. Being that our room was a little dirty, they upgraded us for free. This side of the Stanley is considered one of the more active hotspots. This is awesome. You're not gonna wanna miss. Sometimes if you see something, maybe pause the video, look around, see if you, you caught something that I missed while editing. We're gonna do a ton of exploring right now. We have to whisper at times, so if you have to, turn it up, put your earphones on, might catch something really good. I'm gonna explain that whole red rum thing because there is, I believe on the fourth floor, access door to the attic, the actual attic, where it says red rum, which is spelled murder backwards. and. I promise, I didn't do that. He didn't do that. She didn't do that. Did not. I don't even want that stuff. <laughs> Scout's honor? Is that a thing? Scout's, Scout's honor. I don't, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Too? Yeah. Pinky swear? <laughs> yeah. I put it on my body. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. that. We didn't do that, nobody did that. Are you guys ready to explore? Yeah, man. All right, let's go. like checked out of the hotel they were telling us he wanted to get a refund and they were like there's there's nobody up there you're by yourself he came here alone in the 1970s and it was during like the season because they were closed after a certain time everybody left he was here pretty much alone all alone he heard children it sounded like children up here i heard that it's on the fourth floor but we're on the third floor which is the floor above so it's not very clear if it was the third or the fourth floor we're gonna check it out room I would have kept the key this is our original room remember I said it was in front of the elevator I would have loved to do a spirit box there were two bags of trash that were tied off and sitting next to the trash can so the, the bed looked like halfway made like if somebody just, just shit, somebody just like rolled around in it but Are 
Are there any ghosts in there? For these when you stay at the Stanley, they have them. It's really cool. I'm not gonna read these out loud because there's guests here, but I want you to pause and read. That's room 401. Room 407. What was that? Somebody using like a ghost box or something? There's a lot on the fourth floor. 217 is the room that Stephen King stayed in. Where's 13 of two? That must be on the other property. There it is, yeah. How was that even done? Like a knife or something? Yeah. Looks like it was scratched on there. Or is that red? Is that red? Uh-huh. I'd like to go up there. I would too. Whoa. Are there hallways down there? Yeah. There's a hallway like this on the other side. It goes outside. But it's not open. The door is not open. I tried it. Sense for the movie, though. Yeah. Where that lady was seen? Yeah, the woman yeah, was seen right there. Yeah. You want to see the picture? Yeah. It's downstairs. Okay. Who's playing piano? I don't know. They play it very lovely. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds creepy, though. It does. We're gonna go down to the basement. I can't promise, but there's a room down there that's yeah. super haunted. They have it? it. I've been in it before, the last time I was here. Let's go check if it's open. They usually only have it open. It's like a cave. Oh, wow. No. We can talk down here. There's nobody sleeping down here. Yeah. So, I don't know if y'all knew this. The movie Dumb and Dumber, one of my favorite movies, was filmed here. Check it out. There's tons of scenes from the movie Dumb and Dumber, especially when he was at the bar. The bar's on the first floor. Yeah, there you go. Super cool. And there's the movie The Shining at the Stanley, which was actually filmed in three different locations. Oregon, here, and I think even in London. Yeah, there's the overlook right there. Cool. Boy, this is like a model, a dollhouse model. 
Phil Hall's was featured on Stephen King's The Shining. Oh, wow. An ABC miniseries that aired in 1997. This was a film located at the Stanley Hotel. It was located at the front Overlook Hotel and was part of the playground that was surrounded by the hedge bushes that come to life. We're going to go out there in a second. I've never been through those, through that maze. I just peeked over here. That is a friend of mine, Aiden Sinclair. He used to do, I mean, I don't know if the Queen Mary's going to open up again, but we did an event with him. Amazing guy. He knows so much history and he's a great enthusiast of the paranormal. He's got an awesome name. Yeah, dude. Aiden Sinclair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gave us the shirts. He gave us those coins. Look at all of these. Like, they're all sold out. Like, if you want to come to the Stanley, I mean, you better make plans ahead of time. He does have this event. Oh, this just passed. Okay, so he had this event earlier in July. I wish I would have known. I would have came earlier. But yeah, awesome dude. And he knows so much history on all these places. One of his favorite places. Nice. I guess they like they play a a rotating. Oh, it looks like okay. They play a rotating yeah, picture. it's all for now. It's after hours. It's cool that they embrace, you know, yeah, like their history, their paranormal history. Yeah. There's a lot of hotels that don't. Yeah. If you're a hotel owner, a historic hotel owner, and you happen to have some ghostly activity at your hotel, embrace it more. Because guess what? The Stanley Hotel, I mean, you know, there's only one Stanley Hotel. However, I feel like people's curiosity really wants to come to some of these places when they embrace it. I've been to some places where they do not like talking about their ghostly activity. And I don't know, they think that it hurts them. It's not hurting the Stanley. They told us that they have people making reservations years, not months, years in advance to stay in certain rooms here. If you try to come on the weekend in the summertime, forget it. No room is available on any one of these properties, let alone the main property that we're at right now. They say the second one is haunted too, but not as much as this one. Okay, there's a second building? There's, a, there's three buildings. Oh. Three Going up. Let's yeah, go check it out. Three buildings. Let's go check it out. There's a theater too that's super haunted. Oh yeah, we gotta find the stage. So the last time I stayed here, I'm pretty sure up there is where I stayed. It was on the fourth floor. That's one of the more haunted floors. That's our room right there with the light on. We had that window cracked right there. And we were using that death whistle when people were walking through the maze. Well, there's a beautiful garden out here. Hey, is this how you get in? I think it is. Is this the maze? Yeah. Is this the way in? I don't know. I think so. I've never been in here. Yeah. Some of these plants are dead. I think there's another entrance. I know, maybe, there's like a line there. Maybe somebody freaked out and made their way out this <laughs> way. It's so pretty. Wait, we're cheating. Yeah, you're supposed to go this way. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> All right, we gotta, oh, we gotta do the maze right. This really is a maze. Okay, we gotta go back that way. Aiden was going the right way. Oh, this is the entrance. Look, it's right in front of the freaking hotel. Don't be idiots like us. There's tons of cheaters when it comes to this maze. <laughs> they just can't handle it. But we actually made it in and out really quick. Yeah, we did. It was fun. If you ever come to the Stanley, check out the little maze up front. This is the entrance to the theater. What is this? Look. Did you see? Maybe it's just a tabletop cover. There's a under there. Yeah. So this is going on, bro. This is the entrance to the theater. Oh. Sometimes the doors open. Oh, yeah? Maybe the side one is. Nah, is it? No. 
don't know. I feel like I can pull it open, but I feel like I'm gonna break it. No, you don't wanna break it. No. When I came into the concert hall, I don't know why, but this was probably one of the more eerie feeling parts of the Stanley. If you ever get a chance to go in here, it's pretty amazing. I think Rob Schneider just performed. They do performances in here. And Aiden Sinclair, I think does some magic. Like he's an illusionist, but he does like some shows in here. Oh, dude, I just saw a light go on and off right now. Did you? Yeah. Damn. I think Omar has got better exposure, so if you guys want to go... Yeah, there's a light, like, going on and off in there. Could it be, like, a security light? I don't know. It look like some fake candles. Oh, wait. You see They're it? Red, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the, the That's the stage. Oh, wait, there was another one right over there. There's, yeah. like... I don't know if you guys can see this on the camera, but yeah, there's, there's little red lights like going in and out. So the worker that we talked to when we were checking in, he was he's, he's kind of skeptical when it comes to things like this, but he was in there and he saw from the corner of his eye a dark shadow appear and like duck. So he said, I'm going to grab my phone, take a picture, and it's just going to be one picture. Lo and behold, it was one of those live pictures that you can get on your iPhone, and it was as clear as day it was an orb in the same area that kind of it, it appeared and it disappeared in the live photo it was really cool i have a video i'm gonna leave a link down below of us in here and we were with some investigators and it was awesome they were doing an investigation like with the spirit box and they, they caught some really good stuff in there it was a while back i can't remember all the details but it was creepy i remember being really creeped out it was really dark in there <laughs> it looks like really it, dark in there and we heard a lot of noises just a second ago i was walking and about 15 feet behind me was aiden and tiffany and i felt like they were right next to me and i also heard footsteps on my left side when i looked of course they were 15 feet behind me way back there same thing just happened to tiffany right now dude just made me run so fast to y'all but you were alone i know well because y'all are up here doing y'all's filming thing just walking and filming and i'm just tagging along behind and all this i swear it sounded like there were just like footprints like so i look back expecting to like see if somebody was like following us out here to see what we're doing and there's nothing and i just ran up to you guys <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna keep rolling here to see if actually you know what you guys stay a little bit further back okay maybe we should separate like you stay back there <laughs> How about you go in front of me? You just, you walk that way. Okay. <laughs> I'll be in the middle. Okay, so Tiffany is up there. I mean, you could barely hear my footsteps. There goes the concert hall. Just a minute ago, we all heard it. I believe Aiden caught it. It sounded like a woman crying. It sounded like it was right here in front of the concert hall. And that's of course when we were back that way. And this is the middle building. And there's the concert hall over there. And then there's the original building. We had to be kind of quiet because there were probably people sleeping in there too. They say that this building is haunted too, but not as haunted is over there so we've been out here for a hot minute i've seen this kia soul with its lights on is there somebody in there okay i was gonna try to turn their lights off for them i thought maybe they accidentally left their lights on i'd want somebody like if my car door was open i'd want them to turn the lights off for me you know because i don't want to come out to my car and there'd be a dead battery i've done that before let me know in the comments if you have too she was like but her phone was off she was messing with her phone and it's off it was off that's kind it was of weird. like a blank screen and she was just going up and down with her thumbs. <laughs> it didn't look like anybody was in that car too. No, Maybe that was the girl that was crying. Oh, it could have been. Oh, wow. Huh. Just... Aiden caught that too, because he was rolling. Hey, Lucy, if you're here, can you please knock it over? That moved. Who's Lucy? There's two different stories I've heard about her. One is she was a runaway. The other, she was a squatter. First one I heard, she was a squatter. She was staying 
and she broke into under the concert hall, was staying under there. So the old Mr. and Mrs. Stanley called the police, had all the squatters run out by the police. She wound up try, coming back, trying to break in and froze to death outside of it. Whoa. The second story I've heard is that she was a runaway and was living under the concert hall in one of the rooms and that they're closing up for the season because they usually close for the winter times and they locked her in there and she froze to death. Do they still close in the winter time here? No, we're open here. Wait, okay, I figured. Just a second ago, we asked for Flora to make a noise because we heard a noise in the corner and lo and behold, we heard another noise. Flora, can you make that noise in the corner again, please? Can you knock it over, Flora, please? Is it ringling? Yeah. Oh my god. It's ringling. My hand's not moving. No, oh, your hand can't move that like you that. You can't move the stick like that. No, you can't exactly. Move it, like that. it was going back and forth. Yeah, it was like going like that. You guys should definitely check this out on the fourth floor. Because okay. I get up on the fourth floor and you'll lose vib like vibrate. And there's no way you can like vibrate it. Mm -hmm. wow. no, no. And I've had it fall multiple times on the fourth floor, especially when I take my necklaces I took off off. We just did an amazing spirit box session using the 360 camera. You have to wait for that video or maybe I'll upload that video first. Some amazing responses. We got some names, we got some numbers, and I caught those sounds on the 360 camera. And I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. I did ask Flora to move one of those billiard balls. From the corner of my eye, I don't know if I was seeing something, but the, I don't know, the second to the last yellow ball in the middle, I thought I saw it move slightly, but I could have been seeing things. Let's get a closer look. I thought I saw this one move right here. Like it, it moved a little to the right. But I don't know, it could have just been me. If it moved, it, I definitely caught it on the on the 360 camera if it did. I definitely wouldn't see that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look at that footage because no one was near it. And you can see this is an enclosed case. If something moves in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can feel the floor moving. <laughs> hey, Flora, if, if you're here with us and you want your presence to be known, can you move one of those balls? Somebody there? This is locked. It almost sounds like a door to the creaking. Yeah. Or like the floor. I feel like Flora is here. This was one of her favorite rooms. Hey, you know what I found kind of funny? It Boston. says Boston. And I happen to be wearing a Boston shirt. Yes, you are. And I have a son named Boston as well. So. This was cool. Big shout out to Weston. He's going to show us a little bit more around in places that I did not expect to be able to explore here at the Stanley. Let's go. So one thing my friend Weston pointed out to me on this American flag, if you look real close, you could see what looks like a man's face. And one thing I've seen, I don't know if it's what I think it is, but that kind of looks like blood. You see the man's face? Yeah. What if that's Stanley? That's really cool. Why do I hear homie? I didn't, I didn't know you were home. I heard some homie. I heard some homie. Babe, are you homie? Yeah, I'm aware of you. Ooh, that's a homie. Yeah. What was that? I see that. Okay, so I, I caught this with my 360 camera. It's the coolest thing ever. So Flora Stanley, that was her piano, her personal piano. This is the story that Weston, so big shout out to Weston for sharing the story with us. She played in front of a crowd in, with that piano and she got stage fright real bad. She never performed again. We asked her politely if she could play a tune for us. All of a sudden, that light starts flickering and we start hearing humming. 
she didn't play the piano, but it was like humming and it was getting, it was getting louder and louder. It might have, just a, a faint one. It might have yeah. been a piano key too. Just a faint one. Yeah. Hey, Flora, can you play another tune for us, please? Could you just hit one key, please? She was humming for a hot minute and we both caught it. Yeah. And it was getting louder and louder. Thank you so much for those those humming sounds. If you want to hear that humming, of course you're gonna to have to tune into the 360 video. And we also caught, just like you've seen on Aiden's video, that light flickering. And that's all in 360 degrees. So look, I'm gonna show you too. There's no light switches around us for us to no, manipulate. He said he's never seen that happen. And I've yeah. never seen that light flicker again yeah. before. Hey, Flora, can you make that light flicker again? They're, and they're not, they're not the switches, they're the slide buttons. Oh, so there's no reason for it to go off like that. So the switches are over there. It's a slide button, he said. It's not even a switch. Whoa. Oh, See? That's, that's not even over here. That's not even the one that happened. Yeah, that, exactly. That, it was in there. Wow. So what light switch controls that? No. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. Maybe it's over there. Oh my God. What? So the only time I've ever seen a light flicker in here was when I was on the third floor cleaning a copper sink. The lights started flickering like that. What a but it was faster. Was yeah. Wait and so I wheeled around to make sure nobody was like messing around with me with the light switch, nobody there. So I run through the whole room, nobody in the room, look out the hall, and there's nobody in the hall. And it only took me like three seconds to run through the room. So there's no way. And I was dead center in the middle hall right here. So I would have seen someone ducking around a corner or something within three six seconds with them running. That is super cool. I go back in, I was like, so I looked down the hall and like, Okay, whatever, you know, go back, I gotta get back to work. Go, go back to cleaning the copper sink and it starts again. And so, like, I was intrigued by it, but on the flip side, I had work to do. So I was all, like, out loud, I was like, can you please stop? And I waited, like, a good minute or two, and no lights were flickering. So I was like, thank you. A little while later, I had to go back to that room and clean it again, because a guest left. And I was like... I'm gonna try something. I was like, walked into the bathroom where I was. Who was that? Was that in there? That sounded like a call for something. Yeah, it did. That was behind me. That's crazy, too. Have you ever heard a cough in there before? No. It was a no. cough or a tap. Not like that. Not without anybody in it. If you're here, Flora, why don't you make a noise or say something? If it's not Flora, make a noise. It's okay, you don't have to. Thank you for letting us be here in your space. And thanks for humming for us, whoever it was, if it was Flora or someone else. We're back in the basement, but we're gonna go into the heart. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Thank you so much. I didn't see him standing there. You did it? <laughs> Hey, I want to show you something. So there was a blast, well, an explosion that happened. And this is pieces of the original wallpaper and plaster wall from the explosion. It was a, a gas leak, right? Yes. Yeah. It was a gas leak explosion. She wound up being, slipping into a coma and she was in a coma for like three to six months. Wow. Then she recovered from the coma, came back here to go to work. Mr. Stanley had a huge envelope of money and I went, went to hand it to her and she's like, no, I just want my job back. That's and super so cool. she wound up working here for a great many more years before oh, she wow. passed away. That's cool. And does she, that's does she cool. haunt this area? She, so she's up in thir 213, 15, 17, and 19 because that all used to be one big room. Oh, wow. Before the explosion. In fact, if you go up into the second floor and you look in front of 217, you'll see this little arch in front of the actual mm -hmm. door. 
that used to be the main door to 217. Oh, okay. So 217 is not what it used to be. It's, no, it's a lot smaller. Yeah, because 217 used to be the presidential suite. But it, now we got the presidential suite. Is that there. what it used to look like right there? Yeah. Like if you go out the main door That's cool. to your right, this main building was linked to like the coach house, the um, servants' quarters, the ice house, um, the laundry mm. section, the um, lodge, which used to be the bachelor pad, single men's living quarters, um, concert hall. Um, every single building that they had on the property was linked through tunnel systems to here. And that's how they got around. In fact, there's still um, a secret staircase going up from the basement here. The basement here all the way up to the fourth floor. That's pretty cool. I can't show you part of it because that leads up to the kitchen. Uh, and it's the good. employee no, this area. Is just yeah, yeah. It's yeah. No, we're, yeah, let's go in there. I didn't know this about the tunnels. So these tunnels were used by, by slaves. Sure does give you a feeling with that door closed, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I got some light. There we go. There we are. Yeah, <laughs> so that's what's left. Right here? Yes. Oh wow. People have actually caught a bigger, like, right back here. Okay. Like right around in here, like sitting there. So. Was it that small? Did they have to no, crouch? No, this oh, okay. actually collapsed. This was actually about 10 feet high, I believe it was. Oh, wow. it was. Yeah, because you got to realize you got someone my size carrying like yeah. a sack of potatoes or a sack of linen on their shoulder. So you got to add about this much higher. And I'm like six foot. So you're acting about like six foot two, six foot three, trying to go through that small of a space with that. That's crazy. That's not so going to happen. That's so skinny. But yeah, you can see. Does that go back far? Um, actually, if you look down right here, you can see the back wall. That wall got closed in. These tunnels used to go all over. So back in this back corner right back here, people have caught a picture of a little girl peeking around the rocks. And right here is a good example of quartz. Oh, okay. So I see some rock quartz. That's pretty cool. A lot of energy comes from... Quartz. Quartz. Yep. Like, see, right here's another good example. Right through here. And it's like bands. It's like little bands of quartz. Like, see? Dude. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, it's mixed in with the other rock, but... Still. It's mainly quartz. This was a stain that used to be up. Ooh. Oh, that's super cool. Sorry, sidetrack. Was that in there? <laughs> um, people do put stuff in there. Sometimes you'll find like a dum dum in there. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you got your dum? <gasps> Look, this says red. People do like to write red room everywhere in here. But this is Mr. Stanley's. Oh, this was his? Safe, because he did not believe in banks and stuff because he did not like them. Yeah. So this is his personal safe where he kept all his money. What? And in fact, um, I don't remember how long ago it was. People tried, someone tried to steal this, Whoa. and they tried to take it down the elevator. <laughs> wound, up, wound up busting the elevator. <gasps> they somehow managed to cart it all the way down here, and into the dirt, and they just left it. Oh wow! Was and that recent? Because this wasn't down here last time I came here. I don't remember how recent it was. I mean, it was before I, I started working here. You know, I've been working here for about four or five months. Yeah, I, I came here in 2017, or maybe 2016. I don't, it, this wasn't here. Okay, then there's probably happened between that time and now. You can immediately kind of see over this section of the um, tunnel. Like, see? You can just kind of see where it's carved out back in there. Hmm. So this tunnel was here before? Yeah, someone's been here since they built it. Was it? Because its servants used it to go around. Oh, okay. I see. Well, I thought maybe it was built, like the the house or the hotel was built over the tunnel. Um, no, they built the hotel, then put the tunnel system in. I see. So to connect it to different to places. Connect it so servants. Because Mr. Stanley was really mean towards the servants. Was he? Oh. Yeah. 
sad to say, but yeah. back then a lot of people were mean towards servants. She went. Yeah. <laughs> Fam, I wanted to show you what the billiards room that we were in looked like mm -hmm. back in the day. That's that's it right there. And this elevator is 100 years old? Over 100 years old. Roughly around 100 years old, yeah. Was there usually like an elevator man? Yeah. Yeah. That's what this is for. Cool. In fact, the spirit of the elevator man, I believe, is in here still. Oh. And because just like every creepy hotel, they have mirrors in here. It's kind of tarnished. Mm -hmm. But what were you going to say? But uh, no, sometimes when I'm like standing here, I feel like there's somebody standing like right here, like legitly. What? Did you get anything? No answer yet. Nope. Man, all. I know. What if it's on the other side? Oh yeah. Is nope. I said no. Nope. Okay. What if it's on the other side of this? What happened? Nope. I put down pieces of paper asking what their name was because of the orbs and stuff that we had going on. Okay, good. And I wanted to see if anybody would write it. I'm glad they did. But not yet. Like, you write a question down? Like, a yes or no? Okay, what's that? Yeah, do I just... I told you just... I heard it click. No way. No way. That happens all the time, so that is a scary action. This is the room we're staying in. If you want to ever come stay here, request that room right there. This is the cowboy room. So, there's two different speculations on it. Some says it's a cowboy that likes to give girls like kisses on the forehead. The other speculation is it's because this was the kids' floor. The only rooms that existed back when they first built it was 428 and 401. That's when we heard the loud snoring. Yeah. So, we don't hear it anymore. Yeah, I heard it earlier. Not anymore, though. It was so loud. But the speculation is because yeah. this is something that they put the sick kids. Is that it's a doctor actually checking like pulses and temperature? This is for Dr. Raymond's room. What? Oh, Dr. Raymond's room is for a woman. Okay. He's still in there. He's just chilling like a woman. That guy. That's He's a womanizer. Is somebody staying in there? This room is beautiful. Yeah, it has like a little sitting area on it, like a balcony. Yeah. And the windows can open up and has curtains and stuff. He likes to like put fish girls' hair behind their ear, play with their hair. Play with Tiffany's hair. That's with a group of two girl young ladies over here. And they were getting we were getting kind of like crazy with the spirit box session because I left it running. And they're like, hey, if you're here, hold my hand. And they're like, hey, Lord Doug Raven, if you're here, can you play with my hair? And I was like, oh boy. Yeah. Ask him to play with your hair. I don't want to play with your hair. Yeah. Play with Aiden's hair. Yeah. Hey, he doesn't want me. He wants to play with your hair. Play with Aiden's beard. My beard. <laughs> Two girls are staying in the fort hall there here. And they legitimately said they heard something coming from in here through the wall. Wow. Like somebody was in here or something. And that's not a room. What did it used to be? This is all it's ever been. What? A closet? What? What is all that? Like, literally. Like, vapor barrier? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. I'm not 100% sure what that is. But legitimately, me and one of the tour guides. We were crawling in here, all the way to the back, as far as we could go. And it only goes over this way a little bit, and all it is is piping. Hmm. It's like a little crawl space for piping. Huh. Like, there's no way you have to be in here. Could there have been, like, kids that got lost before? That's an awesome hiding space for a kid. This is where I usually sit, it's like right here.
Can you knock it over, please? That's not me. Come on. This is where the little kids are, right? Yeah, for fun. Why don't you take this lollipop, guys? This is for you. Come on. Oh, did you just see it jump? Yeah. It jumped. Like, you see it vibrating like that. Come on. Don't be shy, come on. You've done this with more people. If you need more energy, you can use some of mine. You need some more battery the camera. That too. Hmm. Oh. Can you point that lollipop to Tiffany? That's not me. It's trying to. If you miss your mother, have that point towards Tiffany. I've seen it try to go forward, like towards Tiffany. Yeah. Too. Can you point that towards Tiffany right now? Using your energy. Even if you just. I Most feel really stupid the now. <laughs> These people need to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want Tiffany to hold the lollipop? Point at the stick. Knock the donut. Bring it. Bring it. Knock the dum dum stick, pointing me if you want me to hold it again. She's trying to. Like it's wobbling like this. Easy. Talking about the lollipop. What's my name? Weston. Yeah. That's cool. Yes. There's one time I did it and I had like six or seven different spirits say my name. Can you say, can you say Tiffany's name? Can you say his name? Can you say my name? Say oh. I heard oh too. What about this lady's name here? What does it say? I know who it is. Is that what it said? This is a lot of fun. I never knew a dum dum would be so tricky. Alright. Okay, so I want to show you this really interesting picture that was taken here. And it was even on the news. Like, station covered it. You haven't even seen it yet. I'm going to show it to you right now. So, there was a photographer taking pictures here. This picture is terrifying. You ready to see it? It was yeah, taken from it. right yep. over here. Yeah, let's see it. Look at it. Yeah. Here, let me zoom into it. Wow. That woman was not there. No, you can tell she's all grainy in there. Yeah, yeah exactly. There's no yeah, face I've, I've right? seen this picture. It just gave me chills Still. looking at it. Yep. <laughs> this photographer claims that there was nobody Nobody at all on these stairs when he snapped his photo. Ready to see it? Look at this. That is terrifying. So that was taken yeah, right here. You can 
see the floors were a little different. They didn't have wood floor. This is probably taken like maybe a good 10 years ago. I got that blue light. You, know, you, you see the blue light? There's no light there. Like if you look at the angle. There's nothing. Like if you look at the angle of this. You guys are in front of me. Oh yes, yeah, so that's right it's at the bottom. bottom. Yeah, you, you like, there's no light. light. Yeah. See? Yeah. Oh wow. That's on the door, but there's nothing there. But you don't think it's a reflection that. off that metal piece? No, look, the metal piece no. is right here. Because you can see the I'm, metal at the bottom of the door on the picture. Yeah. I'm standing right here, and oh, like, okay. if you look in the mirror right where I'm standing, there's like no real reflection there at all. And even on his picture, you can see the metal strip perfectly. Yeah. Bottom. It's yeah. above it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like see? Like the metal strip right down right here. And didn't it say in one of those papers that a blue ball yeah, like a, a blue ball. With the face of... Yeah, it yeah. has. It's known to pop up in pictures or whatever. That's actually the reflection of somebody that was in the back. Oh. Because that looks you, like a face right there. This is a face right here. Because you got yeah. the nose, the eyes, and like a little bit of hair right here. Are there any spirits in here that want to communicate with us? Maybe you could walk from one side to the other. Fine. This one has goosebumps and hairs. I shared this in my last video that I did here, but in this bar right here is where Jim Carrey was sitting right over there waiting for his date. And of course, you know, the FBI, I think it was an FBI agent, sat next to him. Uh, he didn't know that she was an FBI agent, thought she was like trying to just hit on him and stuff. And that's where they were right there. So Weston's gonna show us something that's very secretive. I mean, some people know about it, but a lot of people, I, mean, I didn't even know about it. There is a pet cemetery right outside of the Stanley and it's right in the front up here. I'm gonna show you exactly where it's at. All right, so through these gates right here is where we're, we're gonna find the pet cemetery. This is the employee parking lot? Yeah, um, from here, this little strip right here is employee. This side right here is guest, um, then this is the back side of the prez. Um, you got where the mechanic, um, engineering building. And behind that, the two white buildings behind that is the dorms, what used to be the um, servants' quarters. So did they, Mr. Stanley live on the property or did he live like on yes, Actually, they have a house on the property. If you go down here and like take the road going this way, you know, the entrance, the road that links up to the entrance here. Uh -huh. If you go down this way, you'll see a white house. And I believe that was their house. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. It's super cold. <laughs> yeah, it's so, yeah. so uh, Aiden got into a fight with a sprinkler. Yeah, I lost. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why are you lying? He peed his pants. It went all the way up here, man. I got a huge stream. <laughs> These ghosts be exciting them. <laughs> That's called a 3 a.m. wet dream. <laughs> 3 a.m. wet dream. <laughs> Look in there. It's an older Stanley steamer car. And it runs. And it runs. Really? Yeah. Look at that. Did anybody drive it? No. They, they did a tour today and they said they turned it on. Oh, that's cool. Did the, like, Stanley Steamer carpet cleaner come from Stanley Steamer? Um, probably. That's a good question. I'm 100% sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favorite commercials ever is a Stanley Steamer commercial where, like, the dog's rubbing his butt on the carpet. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He's like, hey, check out Kobe's new trick. <laughs> And then the mom freaks out, <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, call one eight hundred steam." Oh, wow. Yeah, that's Look at this. People leave coins on here. Comanche was a cat. Yes, that was Mrs. Um, Stanley's cat. Their cat. Yeah. Oh uh, man, they had a lot of pets. Yeah, they did. <laughs> the names are right, but the date is not. 
He had three different blues? Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's some dogs, some cats. I'm not sure 100% which or which. I just know Comanche was the cat. In it's fact, fun. this, all oh, this cemetery used to be underneath where the pavilion is. And when they were digging that up, they came across a bunch of, like, boxes with animal bones. In and they moved it over oh, here. Oh, they moved they it. They moved it okay. over here out of respect. Oh, oh that was cool. Okay. And then they put Very the tombstones cool. in. So it wasn't like this was always here like this? No, was this was there? down here. Okay. okay. I think go behind it. There's a whole pavilion here. Mm -hmm. It looks like a member. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Hey, hey, stop looking at my guy. Alright. <laughs> hey babe, come it's, look at this schmeckle. It's cold out here, you know. It's cold out here. <laughs> Not for him. Pretty impressive being flaccid. Oh, this is nice. Wow. Wow, look how pretty this is. Any goldfish in there? Yeah, how deep does that go? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I said they were gonna see bats tonight. The original pet cemetery was in this area and of course when they did construction they came across the animal bones and that's when they moved them over there just yeah. out of respect. Oh wow look in there. <laughs> yeah like it's super beautiful. Cool. Okay, so we are back in our room. My friend Aiden just left. He really just came here to hang out and just explore like with us. He won't be here in the morning. I will continue this video in the morning. I'm not sure what we're going to find. It usually takes me a couple of weeks to look over the footage. We've had like the last couple weeks, terrible sleep from like all the driving and stopping at places. I don't know if you know, but like doing these kind of videos where we're traveling and going to different places, it's it's a lot of work. I don't think people really realize when you're going to all these different, I mean, you don't sleep very much. It's almost five in the morning and we have to check out at 11. That doesn't give us much time to sleep, maybe four or five hours. I'm going to try to extend my stay as long as I can. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to try. Hopefully they'll they'll let us check out at 12, but I'm not going to push it if they yeah. I know that the alarm set for 10:35. Ugh. Well anyways, in that short amount of time, we're going to film ourselves sleeping and see if we catch anything. Maybe we'll catch some noises. Maybe we'll catch the sheets going over our heads. I don't know. Let's find out. just turned the air conditioner off we do have the fan up above going it should give us some silence all this bed's comfy <laughs> Thank you.
fam so we made it through the night tiffany and i can't really say that we experienced anything crazy but we were pretty tired last night we slept about maybe four and a half five hours i did want to show you this though so last night aiden had put this and it said are you here and it says yes or no and there's a pen and you could see that has not changed it obviously have pointed over here to yes I just messed it up but yeah it didn't change but we did record ourselves and we're gonna review that footage I was a little bummed out too because I ran out of memory on my 360 camera and there was a lot I wanted to a lot more I wanted to show you but I have some amazing footage on this camera that can only be seen on the video that I release you know using this camera in 360 I kind of wanted to offer something different to this video and I feel like I got quite a bit on this camera so you're gonna have to wait for that video it's gonna be amazing i'm still recording on it i wanted to show you how busy this place gets i mean there's so many guests that come and visit the stanley and you can visit this place too you don't have to be a hotel guest i think it's like ten dollars to park people bring their kids to explore the maze that was the maze that we were at last night and you know just to give you an idea of what it looked like and the garden is beautiful too look at these mountains wow it's so pretty here this was pretty amazing too aiden showed me this last night as soon as we got here but look at this we have like an open window to what was probably a balcony back in the day wow there's still snow on the mountains up there look at that so the rocky mountains what a beautiful place wow so if you can't ever make it to the Stanley, I encourage you watch my 360 video because I'm gonna show some shots of the outside just to make you feel like you're really here with us. And if you already watched that video, it is pretty awesome because you can you really feel the sense other than the wind blowing in your face that you uh, that you are here. It was cold last night, but it's it's pretty warm today. So let's go downstairs, check it out. All right, fam. So it's a lot different here at the Stanley Hotel during the day. A lot of people walking around, a lot of tourists taking photos. Pretty awesome. It, it's so nice that people appreciate this place that much that they would they would come here and, and check it out. But yeah, there's a ton of people. You could see there, there's the Stanley right there. And here's the maze that we were on. And there's people in there walking around. But anyways, this video is gonna be awesome. Be sure to be on the lookout for the 360 video. In case you haven't already, make sure to smash the like button. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss.